Hi everyone, it's your girl Designer Soapbox and I am back with another video. So in today's video, this is a highly, 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 highly requested video and I'm so excited to create this video. This is a little bit different of uh, videos that I usually make, but I want to give you guys the 411, the spiel and the juicy details on how to obtain business credit without using your personal credit. Okay, so if you're interested, stay tuned. So first, let's get into what is business credit, right? Business credit allows you to get funding without using your social security number. So this is separate from your personal information. This is separate from your personal uh, uh, credit profile. This is something entirely different where you will be able to apply for things without using your name, without being the, the primary source. This is, this is a great way to get things without being responsible. Uh, you're still responsible without being responsible using your name, but in your business name, right? Also, uh, you will be able to get real estate, cars, homes, and funding in your business name without your personal credit. That is really great. So if you're interested in investing in real estate, uh, if you have a business, you can do a business car. You could do homes if you have offices or if you have employees that you want to um, put them in homes or wherever you can buy homes in your business name and you can get funding which is really important because banks love to give loans and funding to businesses rather than a personal person they love to give business loans rather than personal loans this is where you will get the most funding in your business name so if you're looking to get funding to whatever you need to do, business credit is what you need to be in. Uh, it also helps if you want to plan to leverage credit to invest. Business credit is a great tool for you to do so. So if you want to invest in real estate or invest in m mobile homes or a, a lot or another business, uh, just if you want to invest in anything that, you know, that can make you more income, then you can use the business credit because you can get a lot of funding um, from your business by just using your business name. A lot of businesses can, you know, get around 200000 plus in business credit, and they use that to invest in other uh, inventors. So, yeah, that's what business credit is. So how to obtain business credit, right? You want to know, well, how do I do this? So if you have a business already, Say, for instance, you're a independent contractor or if you already have a business and you have not registered your business with the Secretary of State, you can register your business with the Secretary of State, okay, with your state, and you can register with um, as an S-Court, a C-Court. I forgot to put it on there, but it's a C-Court and an LLC, okay? So those are three um, entities that you can, you can use to register your business. And then second, you want to set up an EIN number, which is your employer identification number. And this is basically your business social security number, so to speak, in lack of better terms. But in the, when you're applying for funding, in, uh, they will always ask you what is your EIN number. And this is basically the number that will identify, you know, uh, it will identify your business on when you register, you know, what type of business it is. It is and, you know, if you have business credit, it will pull up all your information. So this is why when you apply for stuff, you're not going to use your social security number, but you're going to use your EIN number. And this is how you can get, this is important to do because this is how you get everything in your business name. This is how you apply for uh, business funding. This is how you apply for vendor accounts and stuff like that. So EIN number is the most important. So you cannot do this until after you register your business with Secretary of State and you're approved. Then you go to sign up for the EIN number. Uh, also, you will want to set up a virtual office or a Regis office. So honestly, that would be the first step because you would also need to have an address to uh, to register your business with the Secretary of State because it cannot be a PO box and it cannot be your home address. So when you're registering your business with the Secretary of State, do not put your home address and do not put a PO box. You will get denied if you do either or, okay? Then you want to get a Dun, Dunn's number, which is Dun & Bash Street. And you can do so by going to dunnandbradstreet.com, and then you will want to register for register for free. So Dun & Bradstreet will try to sell you some stuff, like some subscriptions uh, on how to get your 
more. It's going to just, they're going to either call you and try to sell you stuff, um, which is like 100 to $300. I'm not sure of their price, but it's around that. You don't need it. So just say no, but you can still register and get a DUNS number for free on uh, the website. So that's for free, and that's all you need, right? Then once you've done, done all that, now this process may take up to two weeks because you have to wait for the Secretary of State to approve you in order for you to actually go to the Dun & Bradstreet number. Okay, so it will take a couple of weeks, one or two weeks, give or take. Then once that's all done, you want to open a business bank account, okay? So if you already have a personal bank account and your, and your bank uh, offers business bank accounts, you probably want to open a business bank account there. There are tons of banks that can offer you a business bank account. You want to just open up a business bank account wherever you feel you're comfortable with, maybe federal, Chase, Capital One, just to name a few, USAA Bank. Those are a couple of banks that I recommend you can open your business bank account with. Then you want to apply for a net 30 account. So this is key. This is how you obtain the business credit score. This is how you obtain the, you know, the, the score so that you can apply for great things. So you want to apply for net 30 accounts. And what net 30 means is that you have, you'll have, um, 30 days to pay back what you buy from these vendors or from these businesses. So net 30 gives you 30 days to pay it back, right? Uh, you want to do, their name, to name a few, is Granger, Uline, and Quill. So if I've done these and I bought, um, like, so depending on your business, like if you're an internet business, uh, a lot of people are online-based businesses, so you, you may not need, like, a lot of, um, like, a lot of appliances or stuff that, that would uh, particularly be for office. But you can also do like tissue paper, hand sanitizer, uh, whiteboards, coffee makers, stuff that, you know, are trash bags. You want to purchase things that you still want to purchase things, but you want to purchase things there, even though it may not be something that you really need. This is how you obtain the business credit. This is going to help report to the business, the business bureaus. And this is how you're going to be able to apply for other things later down the line. Because once you accumulate business credit, it's endless. You can, you know, you can start opening net 15 accounts and, you know, and longer, longer, longer term accounts and more top tier accounts where you're able to, you know, buy cars and homes and stuff like that with your business. And then you want to sign up for the uh, NAV which is which is really cool. And so basically, NAV has a business credit reporting. So once you start paying your net 30 accounts back, you're going to accumulate a business credit score. And NAV is basically where you will go and check out your ranking. So what are business credit scores? So yeah, like I said, you will want to sign up for Dun & Bradstreet. And then Dun & Bradstreet will start reporting once you apply for your net 30 accounts and you start paying them back. So it may take like two to three months for something to report and actually accumulate a score, but it will be done in Bradstreet, Paydex, Experian, and Telescope Plus, FICO, Liquid Credit, Equifax Payment Index. Okay, so those are like the top business credit scores. And you can find these scores on nav.com and on Dun & Bradstreet, okay? nav.com has free scoring reporting. However, if you want to get more in detail of each score, you will have to pay. And same for Dun & Bradstreet. It will show you and you will get alerts when someone pulls your business credit on Dun & Bradstreet, but you can only see it vaguely. You know, it won't actually tell you a lot of detail about it. So if you want to pay for that subscription, you can. Uh, it all depends on what you would like to know. So business credit tips. So just make sure you pay your invoices on time. And what I mean by on time is not like as soon as you buy something, then pay it the same day. No, you want to give it time to report. You want to, you want to give it time. So I suggest five to 10 business day before it's due, right? And then make sure to keep all your addresses and phone numbers the same when applying for business credit. So whatever you put on your, when you're registering at your secretary of state, whatever you put on those applications, you want to put 
for everything. So make sure you have a business address, which is, remember I said a virtual address or a Regis office address, and make sure you have a business phone number, like a 1-800 number, and you can even get past a Google Voice number. It all depends, but if you want, if you want a 1-800 number that works just as great, because uh, when you're applying for funding at, biz, at banks, they're going to look up your information. They're going to make sure that all the information is correct. And if it's not, this is an easy way to get denied. So you want to make sure everything is perfect. Everything is consistent. Everything has the same addresses and phone numbers, right? Okay. And then make sure to choose. Well, this is really how you will get denied for business credit. So you want to make sure you choose a low-risk business, okay? So they have this thing where it's the NAICS and the CIS codes that business banks go by. So they're going to look up the code based off what type of business you are. Just off top of the head, high risk business are like credit repair business is a really high risk. Real estate is really high risk. You want to do something low risk like consulting, marketing. There's like tons of, I can actually do, I can do a video on what are low risk businesses and high risk businesses uh, so that, you know, I'll do a video on that. But those, you want to just make sure your businesses your business is low risk. So this is important to do before even creating your business and doing a secretary of state when you're applying. So just make sure you keep that in mind because you may think that your business is great, but if you're planning to use this business for business funding, they will deny you based off that. No matter how much money you make, no matter how many employees you have, or no matter what, if your business is high risk, they're going to deny you straight up. And these, and they go by codes. So you want to make sure you create, you know, what type of business you have. And you want to make sure that, you know, based off this bank, will they consider me a high risk or a low risk? You can also Google NAISC or SIC codes to figure out what are low risk and what are high risk businesses. Also, this is key. This is really important. This is like the icing on the cupcake. Okay. So you want to make sure you get your business, like have your business with a great online presence. This is key. So you want to make sure that you're on the yellow pages. You can call 401 to, to, to do it. You want to make sure you're on Yelp. You want to make sure you're on Google. You want to make sure you have a website. That's important. You want to make sure you have a website. A lot of businesses will deny you if they can't find you on the internet. If they can't find you on the internet, they will deny you because they're going to Google search you and see what is it that you actually do. They're going to look you up and see what is it that you actually do. Is everything legit? Can we give funding to this business? You know, they want to make sure that you are legit because they're giving out tons of funding. So just make sure you get your business and online presence. It's very easy to do. You can do Squarespace, Wix, WordPress, Shopify, uh, you call 411 and get your free yellow book listings and create a Yelp account so that when, when someone Google it, Yelp comes up and you just want to make sure that, you know, you have a good online presence, social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all those good things. You want to make sure you get that up and running as well when trying to apply for business credit. These are the tips on how to get good funding and never get denied. Hi everyone. This is on our soapbox. I just wanted to make this video to guys let you know that I am having a 50% off sale for 72 hours. Yes, a 50% off sale on the 24 hour express anchor removal guide and also the late payment removal guide. So just head down to the description or to the pinned comments and click the link and get your 50% off. Remember, this anchor removal will help you remove hard inquiries from your credit report within 24 hours. And then the late payment guide will um, help you remove your late payments uh, very fast, super fast actually. Um, if you're tired of disputing your late payments waiting 30 to 45 days, this is a quicker method of getting these late payments removed. So if you guys enjoyed a lot of my content, I talk about this in my videos. However, I have this in an ebook. I'm doing 50% off for you guys. If you missed a 60% off sale, I'm doing one for 50% off. So I'll see you guys in the next video. And thanks for supporting. And make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. Bye.
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Leave your feedback down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.